I remember uh, reading the first time I read uh, Brian McLaren's book, The Secret Message of Jesus. I I was going through, and it's a, it's a book that's on the uh, Sermon on the Mount, and and uh, he was saying in the book that uh, this generation is the first generation in the history of of the church, at least for the last 500 years, that has taken seriously the Sermon on the Mount as a um, as something to be lived out today, not some futuristic. Uh, piece of, uh, of scripture that can't really be actually uh, lived out in, today, in, in, in today's uh, society, so for some future millennium. And, and he says that this generation is taking that, the Sermon on the Mount seriously for the first time. And I got a little ticked in saying to myself that, uh, hey, wait a minute, the Anabaptists, uh, they got this 500 years ago. So I emailed Brian McLaren and said, hey, wait a minute, the Anabaptists got this 500 years ago. And uh, then he emailed me back and said, yeah, you're right. He says, uh, my book, uh, The Secret Message of Jesus, is Anabaptist from cover to cover. Uh, he says, it's just that you Mennonites haven't always lived it. And I said, okay, point well taken. Uh, and uh, so I, I uh, was rather impressed, you know. And, and we see more and more <clears throat> of, uh, of some of the uh, Christian writers today uh, picking up on the Anabaptist theme. Uh, in various ways, especially the uh, you know walking with Jesus as the Sermon on the Mount calls us to the discipleship uh, piece, but also looking at our our um, world of of uh, such uh, unbelievable atrocities and conflict, uh, and recognizing that uh, the way of Jesus is a way of nonviolence, way of peace, and and picking up on that uh, and. Uh, as as we know, Stuart Murray wrote the book, The Naked Anabaptist. Uh, seeking to uncover the the basics of what it means to be an Anabaptist, which is what many, many of these people across the world from many different uh, ethnic backgrounds are picking up on the values, the, the principles, the teachings of the Anabaptist belief uh, without them, uh, you know, having this connection to the Mennonite church. Uh, I find that we as Mennonites have the, uh, it's a humble, really a humble calling to to represent 500 years of seeking to live uh, as Anabaptists, often not doing real well at it, but seeking uh, to embrace uh, the beliefs that many in this generation are picking up on as, as being significant for, for them and in, in a new way. They've, they've come out of either mainline or evangelical uh, churches and are saying there's something that's not quite right when we think about how to live uh, the life that Jesus lived, how to live in faithfulness to Jesus. Uh, and are going back to what was called the Radical Reformation, uh, the Anabaptist beliefs that came out of that, and, and recognizing that, the, uh, that this is where it's at. This is what it means to really be a Christian, uh, to live faithfully as, <clears throat> as Jesus has called us, us to. And for us as Mennonites, to, uh, to humbly uh, come alongside of, of some of these, uh, these guys, they welcome it, they love it, they, they want to see people who've tried to live it for 500 years, uh, but then we come alongside humbly saying that, uh, hey, uh, while we've uh, failed many times at living it properly, uh, we re recognize that you guys are on the cutting edge, uh, some of these non-Mennonite Anabaptists, on the cutting edge of showing us some things about uh, how this uh, belief that we hold uh, can be lived in today's society and, and to uh, reflect Jesus in this way.